Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we are unboxing and reviewing this $30 tripod that you can find on Amazon that is made by Abby Thid. Now, once again, $30 this is on Amazon, so it's a pretty uh, cheap price for a tripod. And uh, as usual, we're going to be finding out if it's worth it, and we're also going to be doing an unboxing and a review. So uh, let's go ahead and show you around the box. So not really much to it it's just on the front here it says professional and then here professional and that's really just about it other than a bunch of tapes so uh here's the label if you want to look at that and uh let's go ahead and get into this so looks like we need to cut here and then cut here pull here and uh okay all right, so immediately I can tell it comes in a, a little bag. So that's pretty nice. Nothing else in the box. And uh, here's the little bag it comes in. Let's go ahead and open that up. And then pull out the actual tripod. All right, there you go. And then here is the mount. So let me pull that out. Here it is. You can adjust this. Uh, to fit your phone stuff like that. So that's pretty nice so far. I like that it's included Anything else in here? Nope Set that off this side and uh, here's the actual tripod so There we go we have a instruction booklet along with a allen key or allen wrench whatever you want to call it for something I'm gonna have to Look at that and see what it's for. Put that off to the side. And uh, here it is. Okay. So far, this thing is really, really nice. Wow. Okay. It's nice and heavy. So if you have this out in the, I don't know, outside in the wind or something, it's not going to be blowing over. Made of nice strength of um, aluminum or steel, whatever. So, uh, okay, I guess what I'm going to do with this is uh, go ahead and set it up and show you guys around. All right, so as you can tell, it is all set up. It is completely extended on the leg, so uh, it gets pretty decently tall, I'd say. Uh, four feet, actually, that's probably a bit of a stretch. Probably two and a half to three feet. Um, it does get pretty tall though. It definitely meets what you, you know, you would probably be using it for, which is probably like time lapses, stuff like that. Anyway, so this is what it looks like all set up. As you can tell, I have my phone in the uh, mount that it came with and it does fit it perfectly fine. This is an iPhone 6S Plus, so, uh, I would have no worries about fitting this thing in like a Galaxy S8 Plus or Edge or whatever. Um pretty nice overall once again once again build quality is just really good completely metal pretty impressive so uh this is for going back and forth you can see here tilting it that's what this little thing does this is to uh tighten this mount in and as you can tell it has a little uh thing there i don't know what to call it but um it's so you make sure you know it's all stable and uh exactly centered so when that when that little ball there is in the center you know it's completely flat and that your uh camera isn't at like an angle or anything like that and um a few other functions this is so um gosh darn it if my camera will focus on it this right here, if you loosen it, this thing can just go all over. But if you really tighten it up, this thing will go nowhere. Um, of course, you can get it, you know, really, really tight like I did a second ago. And you could still turn it, but it takes quite a bit of force. Like, I'm just tapping it pretty dang hard and it's barely moving. So, uh, I wouldn't worry about, you know, too much about it moving. And this is to, of course, move it back and forth here. You can see pretty nice overall i'm really impressed with this thing 
Then we have another one of these these uh, things here. So as you can tell, I'm about on level surface, or this is about level. So um, that's pretty cool. I guess what I'll go go ahead and do now is uh, bring this thing downstairs to where I do my videos and uh, give you guys my final opinion. All right. So overall, what do I think of this tripod? I think it's pretty good for the price. And the reason I'm saying that is because, of course, you know, you could get tripods for probably $20 on, you know, Amazon and stuff like that. But the build quality on this one is what, you know, makes me believe that it's completely worth the $30. This thing is really, really good uh, material-wise. It's just really good. You know, of course, this is all metal. Might be aluminum. I'm not sure. But it's... Overall, this thing just feels really solid. It doesn't feel like these legs are going to be bending or anything like that or snapping off. Um, it feels like, you know, this is this is very solid here. I feel if you try to perfectly bend it like that. And, you know, it's just not going to bend or anything. And I feel like overall, this thing is just really, really sturdy and really good. So that's what wins it for me. You know, it isn't just cheap plastic crap, you know, that'll snap if you put two pounds of pressure on it or something like that um and in case you were wondering this little allen key here this is just to uh, simply you know loosen these up i don't know why you would want to do that but in case you ever need to that's what this is for here so um overall yeah i think this thing is really good and um if you want to go pick up one of these links will be in the description and uh, do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it. I already uh, told you guys why. So um, I guess that's it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.